Hi there, this is Srikanth Dasare. So in this lesson, we are going to introduce ourselves to uh, HTML. So HTML is abbreviated as uh, Hypertext uh, Markup Language, so which is the, the standard markup language to design uh, web pages. Okay. So let me launch the code editor or uh, IDE. Okay. So here I'm using uh, NetBeans. Okay. Uh, NetBeans uh, 7.4, uh, which is uh, uh, latest version one of the latest version so by the time you uh, download or uh, you start using the NetBeans in the future uh, you might have a different uh, version uh, which is available at that time okay so uh, there are many uh, code editors or IDEs uh, which are available on the uh, internet so you can f uh, you can use uh, whatever the code editor or ID you are comfortable with okay so it is always a bad practice uh, to write HTML code in in, uh, in simple uh, in simple uh, text pad uh, softwares like text pad or notepad uh, small those it's always a bad practice uh, so make yourself habituated or comfortable uh, in using a good ID or a code editor okay so let us create a new project first uh, file new project and select HTML5 here and HTML5 application so let us uh, uh, name our project as HTML intro okay and click next uh, for the time being we are not selecting any template here so let's uh, make it default and also uh, JavaScript uh, soon we are going to introduce ourselves to uh, JavaScript in the future lessons so until now we are not uh, selecting any option uh, in this uh, JavaScript uh, tab also. So let's click finish here. So the NetBeans, this is the beauty of uh, using a, a beautiful code editor like the NetBeans which, which does all the default uh, page structure, uh, adds the default page structure uh, by default. Okay. So let us now delete everything uh, since this is the very beginning lesson and uh, we, we are going to introduce ourselves to the HTML. So let us uh, handwrite uh, the, this simple syntax or basic structure of HTML document. Okay. So the first, uh, so every HTML uh, document uh, starts with a doc type. Okay. So the doc type of HTML5, which is the latest uh, standard, is going to be like this angle bracket exclamatory and doc type html okay that's it so this is the doc type of uh, html so you might wonder what is uh, the doc type here so the doc type is a document type definition so which is which tells the browser uh, the version of the html the page contains okay so that now the duty of the browser is to render uh, according to that uh, version okay so the browsers, if you omit uh, this doc type, the, the browsers will switch to the quotes mode. Okay. So there are two types of modes uh, in which uh, browsers will work. Okay. One is standards mode and the other one is quotes mode. So standards mode, uh, which is up to the current standards of HTML, which is HTML5, and quotes mode is uh, renders the page in older uh, standards. Okay. Quotes mode. Okay. So you need not uh, worry too much about this document type. So just add the document type at the beginning of your uh, HTML document and the rest of things will be handled by the browser. Okay. So now uh, the beginning tag of HTML is HTML itself. Okay. So whatever uh, you write between these two tags, okay, between these two tags, uh, one is the opening HTML and the closing HTML. Okay. So in our HTML, uh, whenever uh, uh, you open a tag you need to close it okay there are also other different kind of tags which are uh, self-closing okay so we'll look into it uh, in a moment so the basic uh, tag in html opens with the angular bracket and uh, the name of the tag and it's closes immediately close with the close like this okay with the slash symbol so this is uh, the very beginning tag of any html document here so html tag okay so whatever uh, your page entire content or web page uh, will be uh, coded in between these two tags only so the next tag is going to be the head tag okay so this is the beauty of uh, using uh, uh, html so as soon as you have finished writing the tag uh, it immediately uh, completes uh, the closing uh, 
element or a closing tag uh, which uh, saves the time of the programmer here okay so head tag uh, typically consists of another tag head section so not say head tag okay the, this section is entirely called as head section okay so typically the head section consists of title so title is the title given to your web page okay so we will look at how the title appears on a web page in a moment so let us type uh, the title of our page as something like this HTML intro. Okay, so it's the name of the name of our project. Okay, so head section also consists of a meta tag. Okay, which is uh, self closing. Okay, so the meta tag is self closing. You need not uh, again close it explicitly. So the meta tag has one attribute. Okay, so attribute is the property which is given uh, written inside a tag. Okay, so here the meta tag. Uh, has an attribute called char set which defines um, so whatever the character set uh, you are using um, for encoding purpose okay so all these things like doc type and uh, meta meta tag will be will be handled by the browser okay when the time of rendering so uh, the programmer need not worry too much about these tags uh, he, he just uh, add them and forget about uh, the rest of the things okay so just now we have completed our head section so now we have to the next is the body tag okay so body tag so this is the main content area of html documents okay so until now this is the head section which has which contains a title tag which is the title given to our web page and html tag which is previous to that one so whatever the actual content uh, you want to represent or you want to place on your uh, web page uh, sits in this body tag okay so let's so whatever you type here it appears in the browser okay so i have just typed hello world here okay so this is the uh, small uh, simplest possible uh, web page uh, which is defined or created using a set of uh, html uh, predefined html tags okay so now uh, in order to run the or i'll see uh, how the document or web page appears so we need to run this uh, file HTML document. So that means in order to run the project, uh, we need to press this uh, green triangle here. So which is uh, to run the project, or else you can go to run and click and uh, click the run project option, or else simply you can say F6. So there are uh, many different options. For the time being, let us say uh, use this option here. So if you run the uh, HTML document uh, from the uh, that means directly the output is displayed uh, that HTML uh, tags were that the page is displayed in the browser automatically okay so this is one of the important feature another important feature of using a code editor or uh, IDE like NetBeans okay so so if you observe the output here uh, so we have uh, written the hello world in our body tag okay so same thing uh, in the form of web page you got here okay so this is the first web page you have built here so using the so whatever you have written in the body tag here just gets displayed okay so if you keep on uh, so adding the content in your body okay so just if you uh, save and uh, save and automatically gets added okay so save and refresh it gets added here okay so if you want to get exactly how uh, here it's displayed, so you can, you can have a BR tag, okay? So which is a, a line break, actually. So if you add the BR tag here, save. So automatically the page is getting a, a run a run time, okay? Or else if you close and again if you run uh, using uh, this triangle or run button. So exactly uh, the whatever you type here in the body tag it gets displayed in our HTML page. Okay, so if you want to view the source uh, in Chrome, you can say something like this: view page source. Okay. So here, um, so whatever the source you have written, uh, just uh, this is a, this is the feature of uh, the web browser. Okay, so it depends or it changes. Uh, so in Chrome, you can uh, say view page source and you get you just dis displayed the source uh, web page source uh, simply whatever you have uh, constructed here using the NetBeans. Okay, so also in the Chrome, uh, you can uh, use another option 
called uh, inspect element okay so if you do something like this so it uh, arranges the document according to the section wise okay so also it shows some default uh, browser uh, styling okay for uh, hat tag body and etc and etc the default uh, styling which is given by the browser okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, introduction to html so html is nothing but uh, collection of predefined uh, tags like uh, which uh, collection of predefined tags which opens with an open tag and closes with a closed tag okay so whatever you write in between the html uh, tag is known as a web page and whatever you write inside the body tag is known as the actual content of the web page okay so there are uh, typically two sections in our uh, web page here so one is uh, head tag head section which consists of a title and meta tag here it's a body section which is the main content area of our web page okay so the doc type as we have uh, said that the doc type is the one which tells uh, the browser uh, which version of the html uh, uh, the user uh, the programmer uh, has written uh, the code and the browser uh, now uh, acts according to or renders the page according to that standard okay so if you omit uh, the doc type it's simply the browser switches to the quirks mode okay so default mode there are two modes one is quirks mode and standards mode okay so another feature of uh, netbeans uh, is so you can select the browser uh, where you uh, where you want to view your web page okay so here uh, by default it's chrome here or else you can keep it uh, as firefox and if you run the project here so automatically um, your page gets displayed in the firefox web browser okay so simple uh, html page which we have built which does nothing but uh, just displays the hello world okay so as done here okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, html uh, introduction so see you in the next lesson goodbye